Actually, the Coffee Break concert started in the studio of MMS, doing the, what they call the Coffee Break, 12 to 1. Whatever was playing in Cleveland, come in, and they would sit there and just talk with them, and they would wind up either playing their record or, I mean, one of their singles. Uh, if it was a guitar player, he might play a song on the guitar, and that was their Coffee Break. It's Warren Zevon in the studios this morning of WMMS on the Coffee Break concert. A good song. It's a brand new tune. What's it called? The Excitable Boy. Yeah, that figures. <laughs> Warren Sevan is, uh, do a quick biography here. Is, well, uh, Denny uh, Sanders decided we should take it out of the studio and take it to the public. So I called Denny Sanders. I said, look, why don't you do him here at the Agora? Don't touch your dial. This is not a test. You give me the advertising, and I'll pay for the sound system. But we packed the place, and we had lines going all the way to Payne Avenue and all the way to Chester. Sometimes when the show ended on the air, the group was still playing. And sometimes we didn't get out of there until three in the afternoon. We had some incredible acts play at our coffee break. Uh, I remember John Mellencamp, who at that time was John Cougar, played there. Pat Benatar played a coffee break. Uh, bon Jovi, our coffee break, I don't care who was playing, I think you could have put Mickey Mouse on the stage. And you'd had a full house. And anybody that came to a coffee break knows they never walked into an empty club. On any Wednesday at the Aurora, it was packed. 